to run the new YouTube live event feature of Staxia, we're going to need to create a couple of API keys from a Google Cloud console. And that's what we're going to learn how to do in this video. So first step is going to be to access our console.cloud.google.com. And from here, we're going to click on the dropdown and click on new project. And we're going to give our project a name, which could be Staxio. Staxio project. Sounds good to me. And so you are going to need a billing account, an active billing account <coughs> enabled to create this project. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to cre click the create button. So Google Cloud is now going through the process of creating a new project. All right, I'm going to select the project. My project is selected and now I'm going to the navigation, click on the navigation menu and going to click on APIs and services, which is going to show me my list of enabled APIs and services. And already there are already a number of APIs and services as we can see from this list, but not the one we need. The one we need is YouTube data API, which I'm going to search for. All right, which has already been suggested. And I'm going to click on the YouTube data API for Google. Yes, this is the one. So I'm going to enable this API. Very good we have our API enabled. And our next step is going to be to, we're going to click on, yes. So we're going to create credentials. And we're gonna select OAuth client ID. We're gonna configure the consent screen. We're going to click on external and we're going to click on create. So we're going to give it an app name, which can be Staxio app. You can give it whatever name you like. <clears throat> I am going to, I already have an associated email with this account, which I'm going to select as a support email, no app logo. And, and I'm going to click save and continue all right i need an email address here which i'm going which is going to be this one and i'm going to click save i'm going to click on save and continue and i'm going to go back to dashboard and i'm going to publish my app All right, very good. Now I'm gonna go to credentials. And I'm gonna click on create credentials and OAuth client ID. My application type is going to be a web application. And the name is, I'm going to name my web application as Staxio Web client. I'm going to add authorized JavaScript origins. And I'm going to click, I'm going to type in, I'm going to copy paste, but you're going to type in HTTPS script.google.com. And for the authorized 
redirect URI, this is coming from Staxio. So Staxio, let me pull up a Staxio window. If we go on to the settings page, we can copy this link from the callback URL. This is the link we're going to need to add to our settings. We're going to click on the copy to clipboard, copy URL to clipboard button. And I'm going to head over to uh, Google Cloud Console and I'm going to paste this URL on the authorized redirect URIs. And I'm going to click on create. And now I have both the client ID and the client secret that I'm going to copy to my Staxio settings. So the client ID, I'm just going to copy the client ID. I'm going to head on over to the settings, come onto the YouTube, and paste it here. And for this is going to be empty in your case, right? And for the YouTube client secret, I'm going to copy the client secret key and I'm going to paste it here and click on the save settings button. And that's it. We have configured our YouTube API client ID and client secret uh, keys into the status, the Staxio settings. And we now should be able to use the uh, live events builder feature inside the planner of Staxio.